It's been raining the entire evening here in Kern County so much that we're even seeing the lighting like this and the storm has impacted us so much that we're seeing closures and delays on major highways and drivers tell me it's been a huge annoyance. But it was really, really, really hard. It was slippery and I hydroplaned a few times. But I'm, st I'm still alive. This is one of the drivers we caught making their trip on Interstate 5 during the heavy rains and closures Thursday. She says she's making her way to L.A. and was prepared for a difficult ride. And how is the traffic like for you? Annoying because no one knows how to drive in the rain. Heavy rainfall covered the major highways Thursday night, but that wasn't the only issue. Around 2.30 p.m., California Highway Patrol announced that all northbound lanes on State Route 99 would be redirected to I-5 at the split due to Sam pushed in the lane from the winds, which CHP expressed concerns over. Visibility is a big one. Uh, also some traction problems, uh, but mostly visibility. Yesterday there was a couple of brownout situations, uh, Stockdale Highway and, and 119 and I-5 and uh, so everybody kicks up the dust and you can't see it's makes for a dangerous situation. As the storms continue, CHP says they are closely monitoring other areas for flooding and possible closures like the grapevine. I've been talking a lot about the grapevine uh, and we're anticipating more snow and sustained and continued snow for 